All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Got something pretty exciting today. So we have the new acceleration boost from Tesla. You can pay $2,000, drop your zero to 60 time by half a second, which is pretty sweet. Some people think it's a great deal. Some people think it's a ripoff. This update for your car is only available at this time for the non-performance all-wheel drive Tesla Model 3. So I had a subscriber message me and say, hey, I have the all-wheel drive and I bought the boost do you wanna race, basically? Do you wanna compare the two cars? And I said, heck yeah, let's do it. So we're gonna compare the all-wheel drive, the all-wheel drive plus. Before we get there, thank you to my newest patrons, Nicholas, Matthew, and Steve. You guys are the best, and now you're in the frunk, so thank you for that. We are in Michigan, it's pretty cold here. It's in the mid-30s, and if you're not aware, the batteries perform best in two conditions, if they're full or close to full, and if they're warm. Now really anything above about 60%, you're gonna get pretty much the full performance. So I'm actually running over to pick up a drone just for this video. So what we're gonna do, we're all gonna do a bit of driving to warm up our batteries and our tires. We are also all going to go to the supercharger and we're gonna all get up around 90 or more than 90%. And then we're gonna meet at this strip of concrete that I have, um, but I'm hoping there's enough room for two cars side by side, I think I think there should be two cars. But this person does have a draggy that they're gonna bring along, which if you're not familiar, is a little device to accurately measure zero to 60 times. Now both the all-wheel drive cars have the standard aero wheels. I have my caps on, but I think we're both gonna have our caps off for this. So I've got a decent amount of driving to do. I'm gonna do all this driving, I'm gonna go supercharge, and then we'll meet at the spot. Hopefully there's not too much wind noise. Today we are looking at the new boosted acceleration of the Tesla Model 3 right here. This is the all-wheel drive with the boosted acceleration. On this side is my car. I have the all-wheel drive. I did not buy the boosted acceleration. We are going to measure zero to 60 times on both, and then we're going to actually compare how fast these cars are by driving next to each other, going zero to 60, and seeing how much faster this all-wheel drive with the boosted acceleration really is. So let's first check out the new setting so you can see how you have this upgrade. So the only way you can tell if you have this upgrade is you go into driving, and under acceleration, instead of chill and standard like I have, uh, the upgraded car is gonna have chill and sport. It's gonna say sport here. So you can see that I have no dots here for my regen. I'm at 88%, my battery is nice and warm. My tires are warm, I've done a lot of driving. He has also done a lot of driving. We, we're coming from pretty far. You can see here it says chill or sport versus my car says chill or standard. And then I do wanna show you guys really quick. This is just a dual motor long range. The owner did some upgrades so it looks like a performance. We got the spoiler and some other stuff, uh, but just wanted to show you that. All right, so we're getting ready here. Um, we're just gonna do a zero to 60 really quick with just the new upgrade. We have on the windshield there, that's the draggy device and the phone connected. So we'll see the time here. All right, we're stopped and whenever you're ready. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh dude, that really, that really feels like the performance. Oh my gosh. I'm so surprised by that. Oh, cause of, uh, I'm, of course, you, and we're at 75% actually, 74%. So I'm used to the acceleration of my all wheel drive. Um, and we can see down here, you can send me a screenshot of this too. Does it say uphill or anything? Uh, it doesn't say. Go. We can just do the opposite direction and then we'll know for sure. Oh. 0 0.18. Okay, so we were going uphill barely. So let's turn it around, yep. And we can go do it from the other direction. Wow, that kick was insane though. I couldn't believe that. Mm -hmm. Yep, so. whenever you're ready. Oh. Okay, woo, <laughs> that was a big bounce. Wow, all right. <laughs> and the draggies off, this is, it's too much power, it's too much power. Okay, what do we got? You're just gonna send me a screenshot. This time was 3.89 seconds. So that's really good, all right, thank you. Um, all right, let's do, you wanna compare cars? Sure. All right, let's do it. Okay, so now we're in my car, just the standard, no upgrade, and we got draggy, we're gonna see what the zero to 60 is. Ready? Yeah, the punch like is not even close to the same. So I hope I made it to 60 for you. No, you didn't. I didn't? No. Oh, I stopped it too early, crap. What did it say? Oh, uh, zero to 30 was 2.14. All right. That's a pretty big difference. My car was, car was doing between 1.75 to 1.9. Okay, so that's we can compare that to the zero to 30 um, is like for the upgrade is 1.7 ish, and for mine was 2.1 ish. Mm -hmm. So yeah, zero to 30, that's a huge difference there. Yeah, I think most of it's gonna be in like that low end is where we're gonna see it. Another interesting thing would be to see 
you know, highway performance, and we don't really have time for that, but um, if you, like, we're both going 70, and we both step on it, I don't know how, you'd really need a close course for that, um, and to see if, you know, the upgrade would pull away or not, I would, I would guess not, but I don't know. Ready? Ready. Okay. All right, and here we go, zero to 60 for the all-wheel drive, no upgrade. That doesn't feel the same at all. Not nearly as impressive. And the draggy goes again. <laughs> and the draggy is still not powerful enough for this car. Corrective steering. I wasn't going off the road. What are you talking about? All right, what do we got? 4.51. All right, 4.51. Pathetic. So 4.51 for me. So the upgraded car on its first run versus my run here, it was half a second faster. And of course, it's not you know a, a controlled course. It's not perfectly flat, and it's a little cold out, but. Um, there you go. There's a half second right there. And actually the upgraded one was doing some faster runs than that even. All right, um, I didn't set up my camera outside, but let's yeah line up and we'll do, uh, you know, whatever, close enough. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Gone, gone, not even close. All right, ready? Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I took off before him and look, look at that. Oh, he beat me, he beat me. I took off before him and he ended up uh, passing me. Okay, that's pretty sweet. All right, we're gonna go. Three, two, one, go. Yep, look at that, every time. Not even close, not even close. Oh, that's pretty awesome. All right, three, two, one, go. Okay, so I didn't really do an outro for this. We just kind of finished up and left. But here are some screenshots of some other times he got. He did some more testing on his own and the car is really impressive. I gotta say, the kick you feel is very comparable to the performance version. I've only been in the performance version one time, but I did not forget it. It's really powerful. And I could even see while editing this video, you can just tell from the footage um, how different it looks as you kind of accelerate. You can hear that I step on the pedal and my car just kind of starts going. And don't get me wrong, it's still a really fast, powerful car, but it just doesn't compare to this upgrade. I did want to make a couple of things clear. Of course, we're not professionals. We didn't do this on a closed course. I actually did contact a racetrack to rent out a space to do zero to 60s on, and they said it was going to cost me $2,500. So yeah, that's a little too expensive. Both of our cars, besides the update, were exactly the same. All wheel drive. We had the stock 18 inch original tires from Tesla. My car has about 27,000 miles. His car has about 17,000 miles. So my tires do have a little bit more wear. And of course, in some of the shots, you can see that we are not perfectly lined up. But we did our best and you can still see the comparison pretty easily, especially my first draggy time, the 4.5 and his first draggy time, the 4.0. I mean, right there, that's exactly the half second off uh, in the exact same conditions. So if this is something you're into, if you're into performance, I think it's worth the money. Now, I still personally, I'm not gonna buy it. It's a lot of money and I already spent a lot of money on this car, um, but if that amount of money isn't that big of a deal to you or you're really into cars, this is a hobby for you. I could totally see people dropping the money on this because it is really impressive. So thanks for watching this one. If you have any questions, leave them below and I will get back to you down in the comments and you will see me in the next video. And congratulations again for making it this far. I do a new thing with my videos now at the end. I take a random comment from the past and I post it here and I answer it for you. So let's check out that comment. Okay, this comment is Elon Musk. Batteries, he's, okay, let, let's, let's do another one. Okay, I think this is a good one that's relevant to the video. By the way, did Tesla used to send out updates like this for free? Examples, range boost, better acceleration for S and X. Yes and no, of course we get free updates to our cars all the time. There's actually a new one that Elon just tweeted that's coming out that said full self-driving sneak peek, whatever that means. And in those updates in the past, we have had power increases, speed increases, the little 5% here and there, at least for the Model 3. But also in the past, you could buy a Model S that was a 75 kilowatt hour battery that was software locked to 60 kilowatt hours. 
And then at any point in the future, you could pay Tesla and say, hey, I actually want that extra battery capacity. You send them the money and then they unlock it for you. So very similar to what we're seeing here. So of course, I think we will continue to get free updates in the future. Um, but at the same time, I think we will see more of these little things that you can buy from Tesla to make your car better. It's not the first car with options, you know, on the one hand, but on the other hand, uh, it is kind of weird that the car is capable of it and they're just locking it. I personally don't mind all that much. The car is what it is when I bought it. They didn't have the stealth performance. This is still slower than the stealth performance. But I know a lot of people are concerned that this is just going to kind of go crazy and you're going to have to pay for every little thing. There have been examples of like, oh, if you want faster charging at the supercharger, you have to pay for it. And I guess it's possible, but I, I don't really see it happening. Uh, but that's just my take. Let me know what you think about that, if you're concerned or you don't think it's a big deal. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.